Tonight, lawmakers in California are considering an alternative to help pull the state out of its financial crisis. They are considering legalizing and taxing marijuana. How about that for a fiscal miracle? Casey Wyan has our report. Marijuana is an estimated $14 billion a year illegal business in California. It's the state's largest single cash crop, bigger than fruits, nuts, and field crops such as hay, cotton, and rice combined. California Assemblyman Tom Amiano Monday introduced a bill to legalize the cultivation, sale, and use of marijuana by those over 21. It would also tax and regulate marijuana sales in a similar manner as alcohol in an effort to ease California's financial crisis. We need to capture some of that income for uh, many, many worthwhile causes that have been hurt here in California. Uh, including drug abuse programs. Supporters claim it would save up to a billion dollars a year in law enforcement costs. California's tax collection agency estimates legalizing and taxing marijuana would raise at least $1.3 billion a year and cut the drug's street price in half. But that same analysis predicted legalizing pot would lead to increased consumption of between 32 and 40 percent, depending on the taxes imposed. Calvina Fay is a former drug policy advisor to the Bush administration. The advocates for it claimed that it would uh, raise some taxes that would help the budget, but it, they totally ignore the fact that the cost to society would be a lot more. I mean, there's not anybody that denies that if drugs are legalized, more people will use them, and they will use them more often. Marijuana is illegal under federal law. Amiano, a longtime San Francisco gay activist who played himself in the movie Milk, says he expects the Obama administration will relax those laws. The White House, however, referred reporters to a statement during the presidential transition that Mr. Obama, quote, is not in favor of the legalization of marijuana. Mexican drug cartels are increasingly active in California's illegal marijuana trade, even using remote state and national parks as growing operations. Advocates of marijuana legalization say it would cripple cartels financially. Opponents predict it would lead to more violent confrontations over the drug trade in this country. A spokesman for the California Peace Officers Association told the San Francisco Chronicle, quote, the last thing our society needs is yet more legal intoxicants. We've got enough social problems now when people aren't in charge of all five of their senses. Lou. Thank you very much, Casey. Casey Wyatt.